Today I'm with Amber. Amber, how old are you? 38. 38 years old? How long have you been out here in the streets, Amber? Well, this time about six months. Six months. Uh, it's eating me alive. It's eating you alive being out here? Why, what's, what's happening? I'm not gonna go into that, but. Okay. Um, do you consume blues? I do. How long has that been going on? Four months. Four months? I had heroin addiction for many years. And then you switched over from H to blues? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have mentioned that they made the switch from H to blues because it was cheaper. Is that Did that happen for you as well? Easier to find. Easier to find than H? What about the effects? Which one's stronger? Um, I'm pretty sure the blues are tearing my body apart. Nothing like everyone, I believe everyone has a medicinal use. You know, I'm not gonna go into that either, but I do, um, I believe uh, blues are poison. Blues are poison? A lot of people mention that it's really hard to get off of blues. They're just, it's the addiction is stronger than H. Is that, how would you compare the addiction? Um, I would call it a dependency, not an addiction. It's every two hours, like a baby in a box. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to like it. Some people have mentioned they need it every hour, every 30 minutes. Uh, they have to have it. At first, they liked it when they tried it at first because it numbed it numbed them, right? But now, if they try to get off of it, they can't. They have to have it because if not, they go through withdrawals. The sickness, it really hurts. It's painful. Is that happening to you as well? Yes. And uh, have you tried any type of treatment, some type of support? No, not yet, okay. Um, what about your family? Do they know that you're out here, Amber? Yes. Okay. They love me, but they can't, I can't be in their lives like this. Your family loves you, but you can't be in their lives like this? Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've spoken to a lot of people and they tell me that, that they're out here in the streets and they say that they run away from their families. When their family comes to look for them, they run away because they don't want to take their addiction home with them and have the family worry about them. They're ashamed. I do. I wouldn't run from mine. I may not be around them too long. Who knows? You know, it could go bad, but I wouldn't run. I love them. I you love them? them. <laughs> you miss them? If they see this uh, video, what message do you have for them? They're always in my heart. I'm sorry. What do you have to be sorry for, though? You're, you're currently ill. You're, you're battling addiction. We get that, but I make choices every day, and I can make choices to turn it around and give my kids alive. How many kids do you have? Uh, I have two here in Arizona. When's the last time you saw your kids? Over a year ago. You miss them a lot, huh? And uh, what? What if you need? What, what if I offered you to take you to like a the hospital? Do you need to go to the hospital to get checked out? No, you don't. You feel fine. I'm not gonna say I feel fine, but I'm okay. You're okay. Uh. You know, I've interviewed people that they have broken bones. Uh, they're obviously medically not okay, but they still decide to stay out here. I'm obviously medically not okay either. I'm dealing with a little bit of thrush. Things going on. I'm going to stay out here. I know myself. I can handle it. Yeah, thrush, candida, um, infection, something going on, but... Uh, why do you think that is that people maybe not your situation because you just said that you're okay you know yourself but other people with broken bones just infections they decide to stay out of here is because they don't want to be away from their addiction or I, I don't trust doctors you don't trust doctors i don't i don't i will not go into a hospital where people are going to die That's it. people go to hospitals to die you're saying not to get well your own opinion, I guess. Okay. Um, what does your future look like, Amber? I don't have one. No future at all? Not my head today. No. Same road cheating. 
door every day. It's the same cycle. Get, up and get the money to get the drugs to get the. I'll either make it or I won't. Depends on me. What are the chances of your survival? What are the odds? Percentage? 50 50? It's like I think a little higher than that. I'm pretty tough. Um, reality is, I don't know. You don't know? When's the last time you had a quote unquote normal life? Never. You've never had a normal life? It sounds like you've had a lot of pain in your life, Amber. You've suffered through a lot. We all have. We all have? Amber, for those people that are at home, whether they're young, preteens, teens, young adults, and they're going through something and they're thinking about trying blues or H or anything to numb the pain, the feeling, the trauma, what would you advise them? Don't. Don't. It only numbs it for a minute. And then there's more pain, and there's more issues, and there's more pain, and there's... Oh, please. The youngest person I've seen out here, Amber, was 13 years old. Why do you think these pills are so prevalent and popular amongst the young crowd? I don't really have an idea. No idea. Uh, it's socially accepted. It's what? More socially accepted in, in some groups. I don't know. Don't More know. socially accepted in some groups. Mm -hmm. It's it's okay to, for them to use it, I guess. Right? Is that what you're saying? I've heard that before. Yeah. Um, but you and I both know that it's really not not good. It's really not okay to use these because it's not glamorous out here. It's not fun. Right. And, uh, you know, people go to an early grave, right? Right. Uh, I don't use drugs to party. I use drugs to stay alive at this point. You know, I have to have them. Right? It's not a party every day for me. It's hell. And it's true. It's in You're... you're you're using the drugs every day to survive, to live, to be able to He's function. Amber, does that have a, an end though? Can you continue this forever? No. no? I don't know where I'm going. I that, but it doesn't have a good ending if I don't get out of here soon. How will you get out of here? What's the best way to get out of here? I don't know. You don't know? I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. So, Amber, I'm going to say thank you very much for sharing your story, uh, talking to us to let us know what your current situation is like. Um, I've offered to take you to the hospital to go see, you know, get medical care, but you just don't want to. You're refusing. Uh, and that's your, that's your decision. That's your choice. You're able to do that. That's fine. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, I just want you to know that you matter. Okay. You do matter. You're important. Okay. There's people worrying about you, praying for you, whether that's your children, your, your family, your siblings, your parents, uh, just don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't give up. Okay. Continue to fight and, 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 and struggle for, uh, continue to fight for, uh, tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm going to hand you, uh, some socks here's some socks here's some uh fuzzy socks and uh a box of narcan do you know what narcan is yeah it, yeah, it, it stops one from overdosing and dying it counteracts the effects of an od right yep. so again I have used them. you've used them before oh. yeah on somebody you saved them yeah they were. so uh your family should be proud of you. You saved somebody's life. Okay? Now you now you have to save your own, okay, Amber? Yeah. Thank you, Amber. Stay safe.